Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love mothers? It's Mama Love. I am back. Welcome back to my channel. I have a that vegan meal that I said I was going to make and prepare. I am going to prepare it now. It is Saturday. This is right after prayer life. So just don't you think that I have the same thing on that I had in prayer life? Because it's yes, this is the same day. But however, I'm gonna show you all my ingredients that I have because I am going to be making um an Alfredo. Uh, homemade uh, Alfredo sauce, of course, with Alfredo noodles and my own touch of vegetables. What I'm gonna make also along with that Alfredo dish is black bean burgers. So yes, some of this is over here. These are some of the vegetables that I'm using. I'm gonna be using the garlic and a white onion, and I've already got my green peppers over here. That is for my black bean burger mix. Also, my beans that are gonna be drained off to wash off most of the sodium that are on those beans, and. Uh, this is for my uh, a mushroom. Uh, my mushrooms and my broccoli are for my Alfredo, which I'm using bonza uh, rotini made from chickpea noodles. Okay. Um, my nutritional yeast is going to be for my homemade. Um, I'm making the uh, sauce, you all, the Alfredo sauce, on my own, um, not with uh, any nuts or anything. So this is going to be uh, without using the nuts and. Um, these are my ingredients for that as well. Uh, my breadcrumbs all is going to be for my black bean burgers. These are um, my, I'm going to be using avocado oil to um, stir fry my veggies. And um, I'm going to be using the first time 21 Salute Seasoning um, Cumin Onion Powder, of course you all know. Garlic powder, and I'm going to be using sprinkled 24 herbs and spices, which I might not use that because I have this. Yeah, because I want to eliminate that one. And uh, I might not use that Italian seed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eliminate those two. And I'm gonna use these because I wanna. I heard that 21 uh, seasoning salute is yeah, it works. It works wonders. So yes. So over here um, in a pot, I've already started my water for my noodles, and also in those pot of noodles, uh, rotini should I say, is going to be the broccoli added to that. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on so that water could come to a boil and then I'm going to stir fry my veggies but not now because I have to get prepared for the black bean burgers that are going to go in the oven so stay tuned. okay you all so um I'm gonna be starting off with my black bean burger first I'm gonna make those first and I have my green peppers in my a little favorite processor. Y'all didn't fall in love with this thing. Okay. So go ahead and grind those up. Like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a half a white onion. Half of a white onion. I don't have it in particles. I don't want it to be too much in there where it won't get it. Please. And my garlic cloves and a little bit of white onions. Go ahead. Put that all in there. That's where I want it, how I want it to look. Over here, I have my black beans that I am going to. I got a mess over here, but I'm doing it, honey. Uh-oh. First off, let me explain this. This is uh, supposed to be my egg replacement. Uh, it's flax seed, ground flax seed, okay? And what you do is you use three tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of ground flax seed, and that's your egg replacement. And it's, see, it's supposed to come thick like, a, like an egg, and that's what I'm gonna put over in my, um, my beans, okay? But what I'm gonna do with my beans first is, I'm gonna take and mash them with the fork. I'm 
This is two cans of washed uh, black beans. I washed the sodium, as much, much, much sodium as, as I could off of them. Okay. And I'm smashing them like so. I say that's about where I want because they all gonna be, you know, made into patties anyway. Okay. And I mashed them like so. Then I'm gonna pour my ground, grounded up green peppers, garlic, and my uh, green peppers, garlic, and onions. Sorry, y'all. Over into the mixture. Okay. And I'm gonna mix that all together. Mm, why does it smell like avocados? Probably because it looked like it. <laughs> okay, so this flaxseed mixture that's taken. My egg replacer, I'm gonna take in, I don't measure nothing, but I'm gonna try today. So I'm gonna use this little tablespoon. I'm gonna put it over here. This is kind of sticky. I'm gonna put it over there. And then I'm gonna use some, where is it at? Where's my chili powder? Here she go. Hi, chili powder. Mm. A little chili powder over there. See, that's how I'm saying. I don't be measuring that. And, you know, it, it, it says you could put a little hot sauce in it, but I, I'm not going to do all that either. <laughs> but anyway, this is supposed to hold my beans together to make the patty. And we're going to see how this do for the first time. It's supposed to hold it together. Let's go ahead and... Put that all around in there. The first time you all, so yeah, bear with me. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more seasonings because uh, here I go, onion powder. And I gotta do it my way. My way, I did it my way. Garlic powder. I'm gonna say Italian seasoning. Let's try that. Just gonna stir that around. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my breadcrumbs. And I'm gonna say, eh, let's do this. Let me try a half a cup first. I'm just gonna try a whole cup first. Because I want them to be like patties. <laughs> there we go. That's kind of like that's how I want it. Like a, I can grab these mugs. You know what I'm saying? And form them into a a patty. Can't form no loose. You know what? I see you. I see this whole garlic up in there. Yeah. I got some for this little whole garlic that didn't want to come through. The little whole garlic that was in there, I'm just gonna take and use my 
garlic presser. The little last one up in there. Yes, because I want that too. I'm yep, greedy. I want my all my garlic, all of it. <laughs> I'm gonna take the ones off the back too. Yeah. There we go. And my little non-stick baking uh sheets. Baking uh. I'm gonna go ahead and form these into patties. Make sure I got it all good and stir it up first. All mixed good evenly. It smell good. Man, that smell good. That's how it look. That's my batter, you all. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the same spoon that I mixed it. I'm going to get the rest of the seasoning off this spoon while I stir it because I'm going to use this spoon to get my patties. And let me see. I think I'm going to make them about like I don't want all these. I can place these, you know, in a baggie, a Ziploc baggie, and put them in the refrigerator for another day. I'm place it on a sheet. So I'm making them up. I mean, this is so exciting, y'all. I mean, who would have thought I'll be at home cooking vegan meals? Who would have thought? It's exciting though. When, I'm telling you, when it make you feel good in your body, yeah, you, you'll do anything. Oh man, I'm telling you. So that's the last one on this um, in this cookie sheet. I've already preheated my oven to 375. I'm going to go ahead and place this in the oven. I'm going to cook them on each side for 10 minutes. That's what I'm gonna do. Now we're moving over to the Alfredo department. Okay, so these are my rotini chickpea noodles and broccoli. Um, already done, already drained the water and rinsed. So I'm gonna place that there. And over here in this skillet, I'm gonna get busy on making the stir fry, first of all, the this mushrooms first. I'm gonna do I'm gonna stir fry around my mushrooms because my mushrooms is kinda like, you know, my meat replacement. Okay, so I'm starting off making my um not my gravy yet, not my Alfredo sauce. I'm just gonna saute the mushrooms and my vegan butter. I'm gonna put about that much butter in it. That much butter, I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> okay. And uh, I'm gonna go in with my mushrooms, okay. Um, that's about all I'm doing. I'm not adding onions and garlic to this, but I'm going to use the onion and garlic powder. This is the new 21 seasoning salute. Couldn't wait to use it. I'm going to use my onion powder. Make sure I get plenty of that. Um, and my garlic powder. I'm still going to be faithful to my 21 or uh, 24 herbs and I said I was going to eliminate it but I just couldn't help myself. And it's, it wouldn't hurt to try just maybe a little, well I'm going to try a little cumin, just a little because uh, yeah, I heard cumin was pretty good for me. Also I heard, I heard it had a good taste. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stir fry these around. Because, like I said, this is the meat. <laughs> it's funny because I think about Terrell when he's like, I don't, don't like that. Not, not, not too long. Maybe about five to seven minutes, maybe. I'll tell you all, these are about ready to come out. I'm going to set them to the side. Okay, you all. 
Here goes the nervous but fun part, but I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me, right? Right, so over here I'm gonna be using my butter again, my vegan butter. And I'm gonna use one. Two, about three. Okay. I'm gonna let that melt around. I'm using this. This is my cake batter, but I can't find my little whisk. So yeah, because for this, we gonna we gonna need a little whisk, and this is the closest thing that I could uh, you know, get to. On uh, medium heat, uh, you all, uh, is what this pan is on. Medium heat. And I almost want to say, I'm not mistaken, I don't know. I do want a lot of uh, Alfredo sauce, so this is kind of like, a lot. I feel I feel like it's a lot of butter, but I'm gonna see how it turns out. Cause I use like what three tablespoons. And what I'm gonna do is after that I'm gonna measure out a cup of brown rice flour. But I am going to I'm not gonna put it all in at once. I'm going to ease it on in there. Like so. I want it to be smooth. You know, because I'm trying to create like a, a little roux. Oops. I hope I didn't put too much. A little roux. Okay. Oh, first time doing this. Let's go a little bit more. Don't be afraid. Come on. Because if you mess up, all you got to do is just start over. Right? You got the ingredients to do so, so don't worry about it. Now that we got that being a room, I don't like it. It's a little butter, a loose over here. So let's go over here. We got it smooth, smooth the way we want it. I wonder if that roux is thick enough for me. I'm so kind of used to making gravy that I have to be careful, very, very careful, because I'm not gonna put vegetable broth over in here. Um, next is going to be uh. Three cups of your almond milk, unsweetened almond milk. And that's what's gonna make. Okay, so I was right about a cup. Oh, I hope I didn't. No, no, did you read No. Oh no, did you? Mm, I'm good. Okay. Well, that was a cup of brown rice flour, you all. And see how smooth that is? Now I'm gonna be adding. I should have measured this. I'll say a cup right there. So medium heat now. Maybe I need to turn it down a little bit more because this ain't a gas stove, it's electric. Uh oh, what are we doing? Two, what's happening? Did I put too much flour? Did I? That's okay. I'll just add more milk if I have to. I'm not going to panic. It's not going to. I'm not gonna let you intimidate me like that, oil. I mean, uh, not oil, but sauce. I'm not gonna let you intimidate me. You're not gonna intimidate me, baby. We're gonna work with you till we get you right, right? First time doing this, so yeah. Also, I kind of like this because this ain't hardly no uh, Alfredo sauce to pour over no, uh, there we go. It's gonna continue to thicken. Yeah, now I know. The more the flour, just like the gravy. The more the flour, the thicker the gravy. The more the more the uh, uh, flour, I guess, the, the thicker the sauce. So we're going to go in with the milk. Like, okay, well, let's do this then. All right. So you get that sauce the way you want it. Because remember, you got to have enough of that anyway to cover them noodles. even 
even use like a half a carton of that, you know. And just because this skillet is uh, like a, a Roth iron, I don't want it to like stick when I'm making the sauce or whatever. So I'm gonna turn it a little lower. As I'm stirring that in. This is what they say is so good. Um, it's your nutritional yeast. Which kind of adds, they said, like a little cheesy. I'm so sloppy with it. Look how I did that. A little cheesy. So I put up like a word on a tablespoon over there. I'm going to mix that in. And of course, uh, yeah, I already knew. Yep. Mm hmm. And then garlic. <laughs> and that's 21 season salute yeah oh look at it starting to bubble okay so by it being like that we know the alfredo sauce is a little thicker so we're gonna add some over that and we're gonna let that be about that because I, that's how, about how much i want poured over that anyway Cause I'm pouring it right over there, y'all. But before I pour it over in there, I think, ooh, that sauce looks good. Yeah, um, this is the size. I'm gonna leave it that, like that. And I'm gonna go ahead, once I got that where I want it, which I do, I like the way it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and add my vegetables back over into this. Uh-huh, yep, like that. <sighs> that looks so good. I wonder how it tastes. We're gonna find out. But right now, y'all, I'm about to flip these black bean burgers. Y'all, look at that sauce. Look at that Alfredo sauce. I tasted it, y'all. Oh my my, it's so good. Now what I'm gonna do, what I know how to go and do, uh, what I do best, I'm gonna take this pot. Y'all already know, I'm transferring it over into my rotini and broccoli. Already drained, rinsed. Mmm, that looks good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I want every noodle wet. Every noodle to get wet. I don't want no dry noodle in there. Cause what's the point? Now, what I love about this dish is I can, if I want to, if I feel like every noodle is not wet, because I'm experimenting, because like I said, this is my first time, guess what I'm going to do? Turn it back on a little bit. And I'm going to add some milk in it, more milk. Come on, y'all. We use this much, like, we'll use a whole thing of vegetable broth or you know, the same size as vegetable broth or chicken. We used to do chicken broth. I use a whole thing of uh, chicken broth. So I can use a milk. Mm. I know that, I hope that milk don't mess up this seasoning because it's seasoning, woo! -hoo. Look at that. I want, I want all those, I don't want a dry noodle in there. So when it cook, It's gone. It's going to come out creamy and thick. But this is what I wanted to show you. This is the, that's how it look. That's the black bean burger. The Alfredo. The chickpea noodles. Mmm. Okay. I'm about to taste it, y'all. I'm going to keep it real. I am. Especially this black bean burger. Cause they said, oh, it looks and tastes just like a burger. Well, I'm gonna mash it in half. Of course, it don't crunch like beef, but I don't expect it to, so. It's good. But, 
I guess because it smells like a salmon croquette. I just wanted to bite like one. But the inside, because it is bean, um, it's soft, you know. But the flavor is good. Like I can taste the onions and the um, onions, what did I put in there? Onions, garlic, and green peppers, I taste them. And the bread that crunches around the end of it, I mean around the edges of it, you know, on the top of it too. It's just when you bite inside of it. But hey, that's what calls for time for it to be done, so it's done, you know. So, but it's good though. The flavoring is good. So let me try this, um, this homemade, um, Alfredo, I mean Alfredo sauce and chickpea noodles. Why well, not chickpea noodles taste by bonds and it good, so. I'm so proud of myself. Maybe I shouldn't do stuff. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the mind. Thank you, Lord. This is so good, y'all. I know I say that in every video, but I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Dang. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, I didn't sit up here and make no Alfredo sauce. No, I didn't make a vegan. No, I didn't make a vegan Alfredo sauce, y'all. I just did it. I'm well, let me get one of these mushrooms though. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. Mm. The camera. I just pick up the chewing, you know. I'm all that smacking. So I'm sorry. My bad. Let me stop. I'm gonna hurry and get up off of here though, because I want to eat my food. And this is the first thing I ate all day. Like these are my um, you know, when I make my plate stuff. Uh, like what I had yesterday at, you know, Mod's Pizza. That was it, you know, with the um y'all saw that video, you know what I ate. But um, this is it for today, along with my um water. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? You know what I'm saying? Only but God can change it around for you. Only he can make it happen like that. Only he can make it work. Okay. And he did that because I'm having a ball, y'all. I'm having a ball eating like this. And I'm, I, it's exciting. It's creative. And, you know, it keeps me in the kitchen. You know. I hope you all enjoyed this video, though. Comment down below what you think. Um, uh, if you want the recipe, watch the video. Yeah, I'm, I'm gone. Y'all didn't see that happen. Okay. Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.